Red Wolf here, and today is Sunday, and I thought we'd just go over and reply to some of the more common comments in a video form. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button so you know when new videos come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I'm really trying for Sundays as well, but Sunday will be based on my real job schedule and if the kids will allow me to get some time to do them. I know I've replied to everyone in comment section, or at least I think I have. My phone doesn't always show notifications for replies to already posted comments. It only shows new comments, so I may have missed one or two, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. So these aren't all the comments, but just a handful of them that seem to come up the most. I was thinking about going onto Twitter and just reading off a tweet, and then re the reply from someone from DICE and reading way too much into it and calling it oh my god news or updates or official news. But there's already enough channels doing that. So a few months ago, I decided to come back to posting on YouTube, and instead of streaming, uh, I decided to do actual videos. I chose to start with Battlefront 2 over Rainbow Six Siege, since, you know, Siege is already a two-year-old game. And the first comment I got on my first Battlefront 2 video from Statics Salty, uh, he says, you should do a live stream of Rainbow Six. I just thought that was funny, Salty. Uh, if it helps you, I'm, I'm going to try to do Rainbow Six on Thursdays. Uh, I'm kind of burnt out on that game since, you know, every time they fix it, it seems to have another game-breaking glitch or two that they, uh, they release into it. Rainbow Six is a great game, and it's a ton of fun, but it's also very intense at times. Uh, while Rainbow Six will always have a special place on this channel, it's no longer going to be my sole focus, especially with all the great games coming out this year. And with that, Battlefront 2 will probably be the primary focus for the time being, uh, but don't be surprised if you start seeing different games coming up as they release. Uh, probably the most amount of comments I got was on the SE44C video, which has a ton of views, in my opinion. I put the least amount of work into this video, and it's got 18,000 plus views. Uh, I put hours into other videos, and they're under 100. I really, I really don't get why that one took off, but hey, it, it works, and I, I was just excited about the SE44 scene, wanted to get something out. Anyway, James Sharp says, just goes to shoe that EA has no clue about balance and synergy. Uh, I got a lot about balance on this video, uh, primarily because that weapon is so strong. Uh, while I agree that the game does need a little bit of balancing, such as buffing heavies a little bit on accuracy and damage, overall I feel like it's not that far off. Uh, there was a lot of comments like this out there, uh, buff this or nerf that. Heroes do need a little bit of tweaking. I feel like the dark side has some better options than the light for the most part, but some of the heroes are just a little too strong. Like Leia kind of has an auto aim for her secondary fire. That could probably be brought down a little bit. I'm sorry if I mispronounce this la next name. Monero Native says S5 with dual zoom mod as good as a sniper without exposing yourself. So Monero uh, is a huge fan of the S5 for the officer. I get a lot of comments about the S5 from him, so let's go ahead and talk about the S5 for a second. The S5 has the best range of all the officer weapons and is the only one that has a scope. It's definitely very effective to take down specialists when they're trying to stay back to snipe and kill players very quickly. Uh, the S5 does 67 damage per shot. In comparison, the Blurg does 37 damage per round, or 74 per burst without the increased burst mod, and the SE44C does 34 per round. The downside of the S5 is it is single fire with a pretty slow rate of fire and pretty heavy recoil in comparison to some of the other weapons in the officer class. Also, the Blurg does more damage than the S5 if you land both shots. So the Blurg is, in my opinion, a better weapon than the S5. Uh, I still feel that the SD44C is better than both of them uh, after you get the rapid fire modification. Until you have the rapid fire modification for the SD44C, it's not as strong as the Blurg. A lot of people tend to give up on it after trying to get the rapid fire modification because it is 250 kills using the SE44C. But once you have it, it's well worth that grind. Uh, I do use the Blurg occasionally when it's more of a long range map. I went back and started to unlock the final attachment for the S5, but it just it doesn't compare to the Blurg in my opinion. I got a lot of comments on the Heavy video as well. While I still think Heavies are the worst class, they definitely have a very vocal and defensive fan base. So hats off to the Heavies for their defensive fans. Uh, Brendan Bogoto says, you just don't know how to play heavy because I always win my 1v1s as one. Uh, so I'm not judging my one-on-one -on -one experience as playing a heavy as much as from my experience playing officer and assault fighting a heavy. Uh, unless sentry is active and I run straight at him, I can't remember losing a one-on-one -on -one fight to a heavy. I'm sure there's a couple out there, but for the most part, if I see a heavy, it's uh, I pretty much think free kill if they're by themselves. Uh, unless, of course, sentry is active, then sentry is going to melt you because sentry is amazing. And I really want to like the heavy. I like the idea of having a heavy gunner, but they really need some love on that spread and accuracy. Uh, Mr. J says, every time I die as a hero, it's because of heavy. They are far from weak. So I didn't add this into the initial video, mainly because I forgot. Uh, but heavies are the best class to take down heroes quickly. Again, this is due to the sentry ability. Sentry is amazing, and if it didn't drop your speed to a shuffle, maybe I'd appreciate heavies a little bit more. But yes, heavies will kill heroes very fast, especially if they're using the overcharge or explosive sentry, since the lightsabers can't deflect explosives. 
and if you're using overcharge you need to aim a little bit lower so the explosive goes off because the explosive will only go off after the round actually hits uh, my favorite comment is from jojo awesome he posted on my second video for battlefront 2 on january 2nd 2018 so this video was posted back in november and jojo says your voice sounds like a pilot on a plane talking through the speaker so hopefully it's improved since then um if not, please let me know. I'm still working out some kinks. Uh, that goes for video quality as well. I've gotten a few comments about videos pixelating, and I found out that there was an issue with the Windows Movie Maker causing the pixelation. Uh, I have since gotten Premiere Elements 2018 and Photoshop Elements 2018 and downloaded a voice meter to try to improve the sound quality. So hopefully things are looking and sounding better and better as time goes on. Uh, I am still learning this. This is not a full-time job for me. Um, I just started it as a hobby. Uh, so for those who are new to the channel I started streaming Rainbow Six because Rainbow Six didn't tell you what map you were playing and I would forget what map I was playing so I'd stream it so I could look back on the stream to see what map I was playing and then people started watching so I just kept streaming after they fixed it uh, kind of like Battlefront where it didn't tell you what map you were playing there and then um, we had our second kid Kaylee uh, she was born back in March and I stopped streaming uh, all together near, near her birth and then on um, and just came back in November for Battlefront 2 and that's when I started doing videos. My equipment is, or was at least free at that time. I was using Windows Movie Maker, which is free. Uh, I'm using the Windows Voice Recorder, which is free. Uh, I'm using my PlayStation headset that I had plugged in. Um, so as time goes on, uh, I'm investing a little bit more so that we can try to make more quality videos and hopefully hopefully you guys are seeing that. Finally, we come to David Brown. He says, I cannot find videos on jump Trooper cars, I think he means cards. Recommendations, any advice? Uh, first, thanks for posting and let me know what you're looking for. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm trying to put together a detailed video on Rocket Troopers. So since I put a lot of time into this video uh, for the Rocket Troopers that'll be coming out on Tuesday, um, I probably won't get a whole lot of views. But anyway, it will be coming out on Tuesday. Uh, I'm still trying to get a few clips for the different eras before I put it all together. Apparently, I don't get Clone Wars a whole lot, uh, so there might just be original trilogy because that's what I seem to get all the time but that will be coming out on tuesday is the plan if not tuesday it will definitely be thursday it all depends on um how soon i can get all this footage put together uh but yeah i appreciate you guys letting me know what you're looking for uh in the comments down below so i can bring you content that you want uh, as i said earlier in this uh video a lot of the youtube channels that i seem to go to just read off tweets and that to me is pointless because if you want to read twitter you'll have twitter um so i want to bring you guys content you want to see and information you want to know um, I will put work into it. I will try to figure it out for you. Uh, I might not always be 100% accurate, and if I'm not, I will definitely let you know and apologize. Um, but I will definitely do my best to get your questions answered. I appreciate everyone's comments and interaction, even if we disagree. I do go back and take a look at weapons and loadouts that you mentioned to see if maybe there's something I missed or I misjudge, even if I don't make a video on it. Uh, so in the comment section down below, tell me what you're looking forward to in 2018. Game related, not game related, just life related, whatever, man. Let's just let's just talk, have a conversation, because that's really what this is all about, is just reaching out uh, and having an experience talking with other people. I really appreciate you guys watching this video and taking the time out of your day, so please make sure to hit that like, subscribe to the channel. I love having you guys here. Also, if you're on the PlayStation, you can join my PlayStation community. It's called Red Wolf 72 ps 4 And there we can talk and party up for a few matches. You can also find me on Twitter at Red Wolf 72 ps 4 Apparently, people have a hard time finding my gamer tag. It's Red Wolf I, Red hyphen Wolf hyphen 72. Uh, thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you in game.